Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, a bit different of a video today. Uh, it's not a classic car we're working on, or not as such. I guess a new classic maybe. Anyway, in the, in the shop today we have our new Land Rover Defender uh, that my wife wanted and uh, well, she always gets what she wants, so here it is. Uh, and what we are doing is we are planning to tow that trailer with it. Uh, trailer's pretty heavy, so we're putting in a brake controller. There's lots of stuff you could find on forums in this. Uh, the information's not super helpful, because uh, th there's not really a whole lot of pictures while you're removing clips and all that sort of stuff. So uh, I've got it taken apart and thought I'd show you uh, the pieces that I found. I'm doing this for the first time, but that's okay. Uh, so let's take a look. I'll show you what I found and maybe hopefully it's easy to understand so that if you wanted to put in a brake controller you can do the same. Now the brake controller that we are trying to install has a little knob that you can pull out this plastic uh, blank plate and we're just going to put it in there so that you can control the brake controller. You don't have to put it in and take it out like we do with the other car. In order to get access to that of course you have to pull out this panel which is held on by several clips. There's one, there's one, there's a couple on the other side, one there, one there. You can't really get at the clips without getting behind the panel. So to do that, you have to remove the lower panel. There are a few bolts here and they are regular bolts. I want to say it is, let me check the tool, seven millimeter bolts, at least on mine. And here is the panel that comes out, just slots right in under there. Uh, so you've got to take that out. And then you sort of reach behind, and you are working blind. But if you look for these clips, you can get at them with your hands. You're not going to be able to see them, but squeeze it and then just kind of press out at the panel at the same time, and then it pops out. And so the next step after that, uh, we're going to get this uh, blanking plate out, which looks like basically just pushes out. Uh, there might be a little clip in there too, but let's see. I'm not going to be able to do it while holding the phone, but oh, there. Little tabs, you could see. So I'm going to press in on those and then the, the blanking plate should come out. Looks like there's one on the other side too. And you can install your brake controller. Now yours might not have a knob. You don't have to do any of this. Um, so don't really worry about that. But the other thing that you need is to plug it in. And up on the brake pedal. pedal. So here's the brake pedal. Follow it along. And right up there is where your brake controller will need to plug in. And so, uh, sorry you can't get a really good look at it. I'm not going to pull the wires out and get them closer to you because it's a new vehicle and I'd like it to stay under warranty to the extent possible. Uh, but there you go. It's basically just travel up the brake pedal, follow it, and you'll find it. It's on the, uh, the right-hand side. So you plug that in. Most people are mounting the brake controller in there. There's a... Uh, let's get a little more light. It's a nice flat surface that you can use some double-sided tape and basically stick it to, uh, depending on the type you have. And that's it. Uh, so the one that we're using is a, a red arc or red arc. I'm not really sure how to say it. Um, and it should work fine for the vehicle. So once you get the panel out, you can take this blank button out. The blank button pushes in from the back. So you're pushing it this way to get it out. And the way that it's held in is there are these tabs. There's two on this side, one on the other. And what you do is you're going to need a kind of a narrow screwdriver. Just kind of get your screwdriver in there to, to give it a little bit more room at the same time that you're pushing the tab, uh, the blank button in. And it'll start to move. You'll get it out and then you'll have a damage-free uh, piece that you can use then to install whatever else you'd like. For example, your trailer brake controller, which will neatly fit in the same spot. So the next tip is when you put in your trailer brake button into the into the housing here, I used some of the double-sided tape I have. It fits, but it's going to wobble around, so this is basically just to keep that in place. I guess you could still move it around if you needed to, but uh, that'll hold it kind of firmly so that it uh, fits all the way up and, and looks like it should. To get the other piece, uh, sorry, to get the knob in then, 
Uh, the knob goes in from behind. There is a threaded insert that goes in here and, and holds the two together. So it's basically squeezed in there. And you just insert the knob on on top of that and you're ready to start reassembling. Okay, here we're ready to put the panel back in. See, I've got my nice little knob there. There is a fitting for the wiring on the back. There's a plug up here. Obviously the plug goes into that green one. Uh, we're basically going to just wire it up and then push everything back in. Uh, that goes to this box. This plug will go to the, the brakes, that, that plug I showed you earlier on the side of the pedal. And then right here is the plug that is going to go to our control unit, the switch. Uh, here is, this comes with it, and so obviously white end goes into the white plug, uh, black end goes into the other. And then we bought a specific harness. Uh, this goes from the brake controller, and then this end here goes into the plug right up at the side of the brake pedal. So that is how you install it. So I'm going to plug in all the wires. Okay, you can see where I have used double-sided tape to stick it up there. And there's also, you see the little twist tie, and that's a convenient way to kind of keep wires out of the way. Uh, I don't know what else that hole is supposed to be used for, but it certainly works great for this. So now all it remains is to plug in our wire into our switch and the green plug, push everything back in, and we should be good to go. There it is, having clicked it back in. Sorry, by the way, that I'm not using my, my normal put the camera on a tripod thing, but it's really difficult to get uh, decent angles down here. Anyway, uh, this clip here is for the footwell light that will just plug back in. The panel goes back up here, and then you put in the screws one, two, and three over there uh, just to clean everything up, and we're done.